This is really a great event that we're having here in Africa. Uh, this is the first time that the tripartite uh, FAO, OIE, WHO have uh, collaborated with the African Union, both CDC and IBAR, to put together an Africa-wide continental WOW event. So for us, this is a very special occasion. This is an absolutely critical event uh, for Africa to be able to address the threat of antibiotic resistance. This event is aimed at creating awareness on prudent use of antibiotics among various stakeholders, and most importantly, the general public. You would uh, bear with me that advocacy is critical, high-level advocacy for that matter. And so the ministers have also recommended that every year on the margins of the AU Heads of State Summit, we organize a program on AMR. The work ahead of us is immense, but together we can. So welcome collaboration and partnership, because what we need is to work together to, to tackle this AMR. This is a problem that threatens us everywhere. Human health, animal health, plants and environment. So when we can develop strategies and also collaborate closely together and share resources, we can have a much bigger impact than if we work separately. Sio magonjwa yote yanatibiwa na antibiotics. Antibiotics zinatibu magonjwa ya wanyama yale yanasababishwa na bacteria, viini vinavyoitwa bacteria. Lakini tukiyatumia tibu magonjwa ambayo yanaletwa na virusi katika wanyama tutakuwa tunayatumia vibaya. Out of the 10 diseases these farmers are fighting with on daily basis, 6 of them can be prevented by high, good hygiene and biosecurity. While the other four diseases can be prevented by vaccination, but yet they are using antibiotics to fight with those diseases. The chain between the environment, animals, and people in the use of antibiotics. I've just learned from this seminar that there is a link between me, the user of antibiotics, me, a farmer that uses antibiotics, and the environment. So this seminar is very key because it is bringing knowledge to the community, down to the grassroots. Na wakulima na wanaichi kwa kawaida. If the implementation is done for the safe use of antibiotics, optimization, sensitization, and even capacity building. If we go to the villages, then get everyone being trained on how the best uses of his pet science, insect science, and also antibiotics. Yeah. I repeat, handle antibiotics. Okay. Okay. Oh, Keep your Vijana Rikayangu. Eh? Vijana? Come on. <laughs> 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 Our skit was uh, about showing the the small daily decisions that people make every day that might lead to antimicrobial resistance and how how us not taking action of these small decisions will worsen the, the situation in the future. So this fight against AMR, it is not left to the agencies like WHO or the Animal Protect. It is up to me and you, it is up to everyone to take up the responsibility of making sure that you do not take unprescribed antibiotics, that you do not 
get medicines from your friend simply because you didn't you share the same symptoms, it is up to us to use antibiotics properly. Antibiotics don't work. So double the dosage. Kill the bacteria. Great is my name, Steve the Great. I'm a spoken word artist. People always accept something that they feel they can relate to or something they can understand. So it's always a good idea that uh, some of even the scientific discoveries that they have made or anything the science wants to test with people. If they can use an artist, the message can really reach people because with art, you find everybody will listen to it, everybody will even participate in it. I know we care. I know we care. I know we care. I know we care.